Well, here's another look into the world where salmon live. In the summertime, this estuary and the river that flows into it jammed with spawning salmon. Well, that was a fair number of months ago, and look what's here now. These are trumpeter swans. You can tell from their calls why they're called trumpeter swans. Voice like nothing else. This is the biggest of all the waterfowl. Huge birds, wingspan about eight feet on the big ones. Now these birds, as amazing as they are, were heavily hunted in the previous century. By 1900, there were very few left. They were nearly extinct. Maybe about 70 of them in the lower 48. And then they discovered that there were some up here in Alaska, reasonably healthy population. They're starting to recover slowly in the lower 48, and there's a pretty good population now. Altogether, about 35,000 trumpeter swans. Most of them are right here in Alaska. These birds mate for life, so a lot of the birds we're seeing here are pairs. The brilliant white ones are the adults, and the grayish colored ones are the young that were born last summer. They spend the summertime up in the interior country, and in the winter, they come down to the coast, southeast Alaska, British Columbia, to spend those cold months in the milder climate down this way. So when we think about it, in the summertime, the salmon, all the carcasses of the fish, are fertilizing waters like this. That causes an increase in the plant life, very healthy environment, exactly what the trumpeter swans need in the winter, because they're plant eaters. Who would ever guess that there's a connection, a subtle secret ecological connection between trumpeter swans and salmon? Well, it's another one of those marvelous things that we see again. Something always amazing that's happening in the world of salmon. And today, in the wintertime, it's these beautiful trumpeter swans.